Welcome back to Bitsby Trippin'. This is your host, Carter. Let's get into this. This is a first for us in a while. We've finally got some hardware in the studio that has not been reviewed by very many people. This is the BC160, referring to the blockchain compute, XFX blower style headless mining card. So for all you gamers out there, don't freak out. These are mining addition GPUs. These are based on the Navi 12 GPU manufacturing using the TSMC N7 process featuring 2,304 string processors, 36 compute units, and two stacks of four gigabyte HPM2 memory attached to the 2048 bit bus. Now this is memory is clocked at 1.6 gigabit per second, which means this is 512 gigabits of memory potential bandwidth. And anybody tracking that, that is really good for Ethereum mining. So this card has a peak potential of about 74 mega hash with an unlock on the memory. Now we did test this initially with simple mining and we couldn't get it out of the 1200 megahertz lock on the memory, but we're able to change the millivolts on the core and some of the core which had a max of about 1650 on these cards now this thing was rated at 69.5 mega hash at 150 tdp but we really had a struggle getting this thing over 123 watts without really pushing it and the most optimization that i was able to find as it was here when we look right at ethereum at 68.3 mega hash at 118 watts this is really decent performance the total machine using just around 900 watts for six cards and these faster delta fans that use in a total of about 45 watts on this system now this is in the gray matter case with an h270 motherboard and an i3 6100 processor we're powering this with an evga 1200 watt power supply now that's a platinum power supply for efficiency and using the latest version of Red Team Miner for our testing. Now I've seen these cards as much as $2,000. We were able to pick them up for $1,375, which is a pretty good deal from the best I've seen out there. Some out there on Alibaba also for around $1,400. I feel that if you can get these things for under $1,400, is really your kind of target price. Now, some folks will look at this and say, what about a 3060 Ti or 3070, where you'll, you're pretty close. You're pretty close if you're on a 3060 Ti from a performance standpoint, these get a little better by almost about 10 mega hash and actually use a little less power. This is kind of the tip of the spear as it were when you're looking at AMD's offering. Now, if we pivot and look at RVN numbers, these are not as hot when you look at some of the other offerings from Nvidia. And this has a lot to do with the core on this card and you can tell that it's been really designed to have that HBM2 memory and memory intensive style algorithms. Because with that core that's on there right now, we're looking at about 15 to 16.3 mega hash as a Mac. Now we're still again around just under 120 watts on the GPU, which is relatively low. If we actually pushed this up and was able to get the 150 TDP, we'd probably be around 18 total mega hash, but that's still not real strong on Ravencoin. But when we pivot over to Ergo here, we can see 130 mega hash at about 775 watts for the entire system which is actually a really good number. I mean, we're, we're talking just a little over 100 watts per card. Now in our last test here, we tried Flux and it really was kind of dead on the line here. We, we only got about 31.4 souls in total. Whole system is using about 900 watts. And again, this was at the top of where we could really get the core set to at 1650. We even tried to increase the core voltage all the way up to 1.1 millivolts and it still just didn't really do anything. A real quick recap on this. I, I believe that there's some uh, latitude on this card once we start getting some optimizations on the actual drivers and we get optimizations specific to this HBM2 card. We see some of those uh, advantages that you see from the old Vegas and I would like to see some timing improvements. I, I believe there's a lot of overhead still left on this card. But until then, hopefully you guys like this real quick review of the BC160. You'll be seeing a lot more of this card as we start to really start to peel it apart and actually do an open of this up for you guys so you guys can see the pcb and the memory placements and that so stay tuned make sure you're liking and subscribing for this kind of content if you guys like it I'm trying to bring this one a quick one to you guys and get straight to the numbers again we'll catch you guys on the next one decentralization is one of the most important factors in a global cryptocurrency network bitcoin's proof of work functions due to the exceptional security provided by the miners of the network 
Today's sponsor is Compass Mining, a company with a customer-focused experience, providing a tailored approach to purchasing, hosting, or even an at-home option, allowing anyone the opportunity to participate. If this interests you, head over to compassmining.io.